what's up ladies and gentlemen this is Dimash and AK Bob Bright look I've been wanting to make this video for a long time concerning Kiwa and his former record label I mean last minute this guy is premature for him to just leave that record label TN gave last minute to me for one year with 40,000 Ghana cities to produce two songs two videos promote two songs two videos outrageous with 40,000 40,000 <laughs> cities <laughs> Out. They know that per every song we release, outrageous. I put in all. Yeah. After a year, now his time is over, and the most uh, I said, why sad? Because it's over. Yeah. Now he wants to stay. I also want him to stay. But the young chaps in the uh, chaps in the industry mm. feel that listen your focus is on this boy he's, he's not no no more a part of a label yeah and your focus is on him and i'm not only the person you know handling the label also so i personally called him with some people i said listen i still believe in you still believe in what you can do let's do this let's agree i'll put in every effort to put you to push you to where you ought to get to when we because the boys are always complaining yeah. because drew will come and tell you listen you're using our money to push this guy mm -hmm. uh everybody was say, saying it so i said okay let's push you to where at least we have a hit song then the conversation will be different yeah so once we're signing you on the label proper nobody will say anything yeah you agreed we were all happy and then we start the journey all right mm. moving on first song second third song third song then fourth song, <coughs> Friday night, all over. Yeah. Big song. And okay, so what's the next thing? We have to put uh, put a label, uh, sorry, the contract, sign the contract and move on. Now he even he was desperate to even sign the contract. And I said, let's get the right contract for you. And take your time and steady it. Don't rush. Take your time. Now he takes his time, steadies it, and he picks out some few things he thinks we should work on. And I told the manager, like, whatever he wants to be done, listen, do it for him. Because, listen, last minute, I'm So whatever he's looking out for. So we, we did a lot of changes within six months, changes. I want this, I don't want this, take this one out. I want my own YouTube channel, do this. Do. Mm. He, I want, you know, everything he wanted. So let's no, we're already let's sign. No, said no, my lawyers. Hey. And I said, oh, oh, I didn't know that you had lawyers. But it's very, very important for you to have lawyers. So, yeah. so why are your lawyers? Oh, they are in America. Some two guys. I said, hey, wow, let's wait for your lawyers. Lawyers are not coming. I said, when are we? Because we have to now keep releasing new songs and all yeah. that. So cool. we, we went ahead to drop a new song. Running, I don't know why you hear yeah, that song. Yeah. Beautiful song. I yeah. personally took that song around. It's a beautiful I song. I drove, I, I was everywhere trying to distribute the song. Paid to get people to play the song. And I come back and I say, listen, running is, running is yeah. done. Let's, I mean, the song is out there. Let's just seal this and move on. Uh, yeah. My father says I should wait. Oh. And, you know, he, he wants to come, so we sign the contract together. Said, oh, fine. Your father wants to be a witness. Beautiful. Let's wait for that and see. Back and forth, back and forth. Back. So your father, even if he was coming from the moon, he should have been here by now. now. Right. And we had to shoot the video, release the video. Video was shot. Very expensive video. I don't know whether you have seen yeah, that seen video. It. Very I've expensive video. All right. So we're about to release the video. And then I said, hmm. Tell him to just put a pen on the paper. Let's release the video. I mean, it will be awesome. Yeah. We are there. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we see in our email is um, last minute lawyer representing him from, he's a, this person is a Nigerian. I said, hey, you have a lawyer from America, now he's Nigerian. Nigerian. I said, wow, you're an international artist already. <laughs> so the lawyer says that there are some few things they want to counter. And I said, after, after the editing, you mm. know, no problem. What do you, what do you want to counter? 
the details are, are will, will, will yeah. come very soon. Yeah, we'll, let's, 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 yes. let's just cut to the kitchen and then <laughs> I'll deal with these people. Later we'll find time. Yes. You know, so in, in, the, the loyal thing didn't the, work. You, you, if you see the details, you know that it, is, it means that we don't want to do it. Ah, okay, that's what, what, how it sounded. Like. Yes, it's like you're calling me to come to the car park. Mm. And I said, I'm saying that, you know, get me some staircase that can get me from here mm. to the car park without putting my foot down. I mean, I said, okay. So I told managers, so listen, let's just said, ask them what they want. They said, oh, we want to terminate it. I said, there's no contract in the first place. To, to, in the first place. To, to terminate. Yeah. So let's just move on. I love him. He's not for sale. Um, when I picked him from nowhere, I just knew that he had a purpose. He had a plan. I would support him on any day. But label, at this young age, Friday night hitmaker wanting independence. This is what happens. Kewa says, the exit of last mid from his highly spiritual i mean record label still hurts him a lot because the amount of investment he had stakeholders putting up a project for him only for the guy to exit the record label at the wrong time you know kwa is one of the, the talented music producers you know if you are rating ghana's top top two or top three producers i mean he's, he's just going to make that list besides this guy i mean appear to Kewa is there on the list. And to just nurture this talent, investing, investing all your resources only for the guy to just hit and then blow. After that, he runs away, making all your investment go in vain. These are some of the things hurting the growth of Ghana music industry. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> because artists become ungrateful the moment they record their bangers. Once they are cool, low key, underground, Oh, you see them being respectful, but at the end of the day, even though Last Meet came out, he hasn't actually explained his side of the story, but if you want to go into the details according to what Kewa said last time, mm, he, he, he had a lot of points because Last Meet, like, that, that guy was intentionally delaying the renewal of his contract, you know. That guy was brought up by MTN. Kewa signed him right after he had uh, won um, i think something like mtn hitmaker he was given a little amount of money to invest yes so they produced about two or three songs before last meet came out bam with that uh, what do you call it the friday night hit song and since then he has had a lot of uh, monumental success i mean dropping a lot of bangers whether it is that feature with kwami uji whether it is that uh running song whether uh, like countless he has like i can count like three or four songs that he had success with uh he was highly spiritual music and look sometimes independence is cool right but if you exit a record label at the wrong time it's just gonna hinder your growth today where is miss me with all due respect let me just say it out loud Today, with all due respect, <laughs> where's Miss V? After uh, she left, uh, you know, Lynx Entertainment. These are some of the reasons why people like Kwame Uji Kiri are smart. They are taking it easy, you know, signing a record label deal. Sometimes they split the earnings in a ratio of, I think, some 50. You, you not get like, you not get a 50 50 record label deal because most of the, the record labels actually pump their money into promoting the artists whether it is shooting videos or just recording the songs mixing paying for mixing distribution and stuff like that and now like this guy just came out so oh, like he has to go and make peace i think last mate has to go back and make peace with kwa because it looks like kwa is deeply hurt and you know if you work with someone like that he becomes your father and how he is still hurt and pain inside him. I think he has to go to, back to the record label. Let make peace. You can sign maybe a short term contract, three years at least. Then you work on projects. Let you let him come. I mean, I mean, complete what you started. Then you can grow. By that time, you'll be mature enough to, I mean, exist as an independent artist. But now, everyone wants independence. Don't get me wrong. It's all showbiz. So. Last midfields, it's all about the earnings, right? Most of these things, it has to do with the money. He says he wants uh, his own YouTube channel, which I fully support. You know, that new song he released concerning the, 
it's all independent bad boy something it's cool you know you go to the, the channel and he has like 150k and still getting more views so if he monetizes that channel 100,000 views equates to like hundred dollars so if he gets 150 dollars <laughs> per one song uh you can see that yeah sometimes the, the artist be, being independent it helps them financially but <laughs> you need direction you need growth because you are this young age i mean you are a superstar right but when it comes to the i mean the inner workings of this industry your voice sometimes your voice alone you know the number of people who are actually talented but let's say more talented man than last week but they are not finding it easy because they lack that guidance something must be guiding you i mean someone to be showing you that okay do this do do that but here's the case last minute pathways with highly spiritual they i mean i have asked for uh, doc, uh, what is what's the name mr drew i'll find time and address that guy on a, in a separate video don't understand because <laughs> 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 the ungratefulness is too much uh, sometimes when you listen to let's say two aspects of the story then you can make a firm conclusion but from so far what i've heard uh the artists are accusing k of not giving them i mean correct or appropriate deals so mr drew the last time he spoke something that i was like against it but i'll, I'll, I'll find time and address it you understand yo yo, yo thanks for watching this dimension ak bob bright what do you think about last meet last meet is one of the top 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 I mean, coming artists to watch out for. The guy is like super talented. And that talent alone is too much for you to manage yourself. Just take your time. That talent you have, you need someone to get the best out of you. Just get a, a good record label. Let them sign and guide you to reach where you are supposed to reach. Because it might work in your favor if you think you want to be independent. But when it doesn't happen, <laughs> How you've expressed this certain level of, I mean, ungratefulness to Kewa. Do you think the next investor might actually want to work with you? Let's think about this. Guys, let's be honest. This is showbiz. If I'm, I'm like, I feel like if the Martian right now is an investor hoping to work with last minute, I just consider how grateful you are to your former record label. And I see that, oh, it looks like, uh, Things are not that good. And I'll just say, okay, uh, this deal cannot come on. You understand? So that's what is happening. But Kewa is saying uh, he's still hurt and pain because the amount of the amount of investment, the amount of money he poured into just is 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 so is so bad. So bad. Let me know what you're thinking. Who are you blaming? Kewa last minute. Uh, Mr. Drew, <laughs> I'll address Mr. Drew in a separate video. You don't tell, <laughs> you don't tell your former record label such things. You just keep it low key. Some things are just meant to, I mean, <laughs> be between because Mr. Drew had a lot of success and the highly spiritual music. So sometimes I see artists coming out this way to talk, and I, I, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh -huh. Sometimes it is better you, you make peace and then allow things, the dust to settle so that you have the peace of mind to progress to the next level. Do you understand? If you keep all this stuff in you, it kind of limits your growth. Do you understand? Yo, yo, thanks for watching. So, Ghana popular high life, hip life artist, last meet, parting ways with highly spiritual music. I mean, that is managed and owned by Ghana's sound engineer. Self, I mean, well acclaimed sound engineer and a multiple winning, multiple winning producer. Do you understand? So, in an interview with The Weeknd, Kewa revealed that last minute just expressed his desire to leave the label even before that VGMA ceremony took place. You know how that became a flop, right? See how last minute disappointed the fans. On that very night because he actually had no guidance so his stake performance on the VGMA night where Blacko won that artist of the year and he flopped big time simply because 
um some he lacked that kind of let's say force something something to guide him like no record label so you feel you are a big man you can do your own things by your own self this is your pay your pay day do you understand thanks for watching so there is always something boiling but you need to always dig deep 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 into the story to actually uncover the whole truth do you understand so let me know what you are thinking who are you blaming but there is a story behind this I don't think it is convenient for me to spill the beans now, Kiwa says. And according to highly spiritual music, all the musicians that signed with Kiwa, such as uh, Crimey, Mr. Drew, and Lasmit, have all left. Is it Creamy or Crimey? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> oh, I, where, was the last, where was the last time you heard of him again? <laughs> Okay, so Kewa affirmed that he is currently working on a few artists who he intends to unveil soon. So, last meet won the eighth edition of the MTM Hitmaker reality show in 2018, signed a management contract with record producing hit I mean, heck, record producing owner Kewa around 2020. Fast forwarding to 2023, yes. Three years or two and a half years into that deal, and they are going to as a privilege. Thanks for watching. I don't like these things to be happening this year because I'm very passionate about Ghana music. They understand what the Nigerians are doing, they are progressing, moving to the next level. We should be coping from them, uh -huh. but sometimes because of um, selfishness, greed, pride, or how do I say, yeah. Things like that, yes, and I've destroyed the industry. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you are thinking. Last minute, go back to your father. <laughs> all right, peace. I'm out. The name is Dimashian, as usual. I mean, that's how we do it all the day. You understand? <laughs> My United. <laughs>